Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on Selenium Web Driver. Friends, do you know that when there is a discussion about web testing tools, Selenium is surely one of the best in the field to help developers with automation testing. Hence, the demand for Selenium Web Testers is on the rise and it is only going to increase in the future. Now before we discuss our today's agenda, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So first, we will discuss about what is Selenium. Then, we will discuss about history of Selenium. Moving ahead, we will discuss about components of Selenium. Then, we will discuss about architecture of Selenium web driver. Then, we will discuss about benefits of Selenium web driver. And finally, we are going to conclude our session with limitations of Selenium web driver. So let's start with what is Selenium. Selenium is a free open source automated testing framework which is used to verify web application across many platforms and browsers. Selenium test scripts can be written in a variety of programming languages including Java, c -sharp, Python and others. Selenium testing is a term used to describe testing carried out by the Selenium testing tool. Now we will discuss the tool suite required for Selenium. In addition to being a single tool, Selenium software is a collection of programs that each addresses a certain organization's needs for Selenium QA testing. The tools are listed below. The first one is Integrated Development Environment for Selenium which is IDE. Then we have Remote Control for Selenium. And finally we have Selenium WebDriver Grid. Now let's discuss the history of Selenium. Jason Huggins was a primary creator of Selenium in 2004. He was a web application engineer at ThoughtWorks, working on a project that frequently needed testing. He developed a JavaScript program that would automatically control the browser's behavior after seeing that application's repetitive manual testing was getting more and more ineffective. The JavaScript test runner is the name of the software. He released the JavaScript runner subsequently which was also known as Selenium Core. It was made open source after realizing its potential to assist in automating other online applications. Because of this, before Selenium RC, testers had to set up local copies of the Selenium Core, a JavaScript program as well as the web server hosting of the web application under the test in order for them to share a domain. Unfortunately, because to these limitations imposed by the same origin policy, Selenium Core testers had to install the entire application under the test as well as the web server on their local PCs. Paul Hammett, a different ThoughtWork engineer, made a decision to build a server that will function as an HTTP proxy in order to trickle the browser into thinking that Selenium Core and the web application under the test are in the same domain. The Selenium Remote Control or the Selenium 1 other two names for the system. Patrick Lightbody created Selenium Grid in order to address the issue of reducing test execution times as much as feasible. At first, he termed the program hosted QA. It was able to simultaneously transmit Selenium commands to multiple machines and take screenshots of the browser during the key moments. Around 2006, when JavaScript tools like Selenium Core were becoming more powerful and limiting for the web applications and browser, Simon Stewart produced the web driver. It was the initial cross-platform testing framework that allowed OS-level control of the browser. And then came the emergence of Selenium 2. The Selenium team as a whole chose in 2008 to combine web driver with Selenium RC to create Selenium 2, a more potent technology with web driver at its foundation. Selenium RC is still under development right now, albeit in its maintenance mode. Currently, Selenium 2 is the main focus of the Selenium project's work. A joke that Jason once told to his team inspired the name Selenium, under notable automation testing framework which was created by the business known as Mercury Interactive and there was during the creation of Selenium. Yes, the company who originally made the QTP before it was acquired by HP. Jason suggested the name Selenium because it is a well-known remedy for mercury toxicity and his teammates adopted it. So that's we came to refer to the current framework. Now 
we will discuss the components of the selenium. So first we have selenium IDE, second we have selenium RC, third is selenium web driver and fourth is selenium grid. And particularly we will study each one of them one by one. So if we talk about the first one, the simplest and the most user friendly framework in the selenium family is a selenium integrated development environment. It is a plugin for Chrome and Firefox that you can set up similarly to the other plugins. Selenium IDE should only be used as a prototyping tool. Nevertheless, due to its simplicity, either Selenium RC or WebDriver must be used if you wish to develop more complex test scenarios. The use cases of Selenium can be, so it has locators like ID, name, XPath and CSS selectors. It can use to run script which is used to customize JavaScript programs. It is also used in exporting test cases in different file types. Apart from that, in order to write tests with little known programming, you can also start doing Selenium. Next, in order to build straightforward test suits and cases that you can export to RC or WebDriver, Selenium ID can be the perfect tool. And finally, in order to evaluate a web application on Firefox and Chrome, Selenium IDE can be the best option. Now, we will study about Selenium RC. Selenium Remote Control is exactly what it sounds like. For a while, Selenium RC served as the Selenium project's primary testing framework, the first automatic web testing tool that enables customers to select their preferred programming language is this one. RC can currently handle the following languages which are Java, c -sharp, PHP, Python, Perl and Ruby. In many ways, Selenium IDE and Selenium RC are outperformed by the web driver. In automating the browser's operation, it uses more contemporary and reliable methodology. Web driver, unlike Selenium RC, does not rely on JavaScript for the Selenium automation testing. It controls the browser by directly communicating with it. Selenium web driver is a web framework which enables you to run cross-browser testing. This program is used to automate testing of web-based applications to ensure that they function as they planned. You can select a programming language which is used while creating test scripts using Selenium web driver. As it was previously said, it improves upon Selenium RC in order to get around few drawbacks. Although Selenium web driver cannot handle window components, this limitation can be addressed by utilizing programs like Scully, AutoIT and etc. You can also use a programming language with web driver to write your test scripts, which is not possible in Selenium IDE. Now you may utilize conditional procedures like switch case and if then else, you may also use looping techniques like do while. So now the use cases of the web driver can be, it is used to create your test case using a specific programming language. It is also used to evaluate programs with lots of Ajax feature. In order to run your tests with HTML unit browser, it can also be used. And finally, WebDriver is used to produce unique test results. Now we will discuss about the Selenium Grid. Selenium Grid is a clever proxy server which is used to run test scripts simultaneously on various machines. By acting as a hub and routing commands to distant web browser instances, this is accomplished. This hub distributes JSON formatted test commands to numerous registered grid nodes. If I talk about the use cases, it is basically used to simultaneously run your Selenium RC scripts across many operating systems and browser. It is also used to perform a comprehensive test suit that must be finished as quickly as possible. Now let's discuss the architecture of Selenium. Browser drivers and browsers may communicate with one another thanks to the Selenium Web Driver API. The Selenium client library, JSON via protocol, browser drivers and browsers make up the four layers of this architecture. Languages including Java, Ruby, Python, c -sharp and others are also available in the Selenium client library. The complete Selenium code will be translated to JSON format after the test cases are activated. 
JavaScript object notation is referred to as JSON. It takes on the responsibility of sending data from the server to the client. The main method used to transport data across HTTP servers is JSON via protocol. Through the HTTP protocol it is generated, the JSON is made then accessible to the browser driver. There is a unique browser driver for every browser. Browser drivers communicate with their individual browsers and carry out commands by deciphering JSON that the browser sends them. Any instructions received by the browser driver are immediately executed by the browser. The response is then returned as HTTP response. When this block of code is executed, the JSON via protocol will be used to convert the full block of code into an HTTP URL. The Chrome driver will receive the converted URL. The HTTP server is used by the browser driver to obtain the HTTP request. As soon as a browser driver receives the URL, it sends the request over the HTTP to the browser. It will cause the browser selenium commands to be executed. Now if the request is post, the browser will do an action. The response will be created at the browser end and if it is a GET request, it will then send the browser driver through HTTP. It will then be sent through also JSON via protocol by the browser driver to the user interface. So this was the overall description of the Selenium Web Driver architecture. Now let's discuss the benefits of the Selenium Web Driver. The first one is speed. Because the web driver speaks directly to the browser and uses browser's own engine to operate it, it is kind of quicker than Selenium RC. The next is real life interaction. More realistic interaction between the page elements and the web driver are possible. For instance, the web driver actually cannot enter any data in a disabled text box on a page you are evaluating, just as a real person cannot. The third one is the web driver API, which is kind of easy to use. It doesn't have any overlapping or unclear commands. The fourth is the browser support. Headless HTML unit browser support is also available for the web driver. The phrase headless refers to the HTML unit since this is invisible browser that lacks a graphical user interface. Because no time is wasted waiting for the page elements to load, it is a highly quick browser. This quickens the pace at which you run the test. It can only be controlled automatically because it is kind of invisible to the user. So now we have discussed the benefits of the Selenium Web Driver. Now we will discuss the limitations of Selenium Web Driver. The first one is for desktop apps, Selenium does not support automation testing. The second drawback can be, you know, it is used to automate tests more successfully. High skill levels are kind of necessary. The third limitation can be because Selenium is kind of open source software, then you must rely on online discussion forms to get solutions to your technical problem. The third one can be Selenium cannot be used to automate test for the web services like SOAP or REST. And one more which I usually encounter the limitation of Selenium is that Selenium does not have any built-in reporting functionality. Instead, you must rely on the plugins like JUnit and TestNG to generate the test report. That was all for today's session. I hope so you would have got some idea regarding Selenium Web Driver. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.